shot put. If you went to the bowling alley and picked up the heaviest bowling ball that's there, that's gonna be a 16 pound ball. So shrink that down to the size of a grapefruit, go to a basketball court, and if you stand on the free throw line, turn around and make a three quarter court shot, that's right at the world record. And who holds the world record right now? I hold the world record. Ryan Krauser is a, a beast, to say the least. He's in a league of his own. He's the best shot putter in the world. My name is Nameka Echebri, and I am a physiatrist at HSS, specializing in interventional spine and musculoskeletal medicine. I was also a former D1 track athlete, specializing in the hammer and weight throws, and have coached for several years. I'm Ryan Krauser, two-time Olympic gold medalist in the shot put, Olympic record holder, reigning world champion. I hold the world record at 23 meters 56, just over 77 feet. Right now, I'm 31 years old. I'm hoping to be the first person ever to win three Olympic golds in the shot put, if I can win one more time at the Paris Olympics. Few things in sport are as unchanged as the shot put. We're kind of stuck in the stone age. It's still a 16 pound ball, it's still a seven foot ring. The ball is still steel and the ring still concrete. You move across the circle and create as much momentum as you can. To get this ball, it's a put. You throw it off of your neck as far as you can. They measure it with the measuring tape. A good throw is 70 feet, a great throw is 75, and the world record is just over 77 feet. There's a sort of golden speed that's necessary for the ball to travel far, and that's about 14.5 meters per second. Almost 40 miles an hour for a 16 pound ball is, is moving. For someone of Ryan's size to produce such an incredible amount of force is absolutely tremendous. Six, seven foot man, 320 pounds. Ryan has so much explosive power in his quads, hamstrings, glutes, calves, plantar foot muscles that he could beat Usain Bolt in the first 20 meters of a 100 meter sprint. To be the world's greatest shot putter, it takes a number of things, a lot of attention to detail and a goal-oriented approach. It's a really long path. It's years upon years to get hundreds of thousands of throws, getting to a million throws. As a physician, realizing the amount of repetitions that takes and the amount of stress that puts on the body, it's nothing less than remarkable. As that ball leaves my hand, I know very close to how far that shot is gonna fly. I can guess consistently, I'd say within about eight inches. That's amazing. So the shot put requires a lot of strength, but it also requires a lot of grace. We're definitely the world's biggest ballerinas. People think we're a bunch of brutish meatheads, that it's just some really big, strong guys kind of grunting and making the ball go far. But there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Ryan developed this new technique called a Krauser slide where he takes an initial side step before he enters this swing phase of the spin. From a physics standpoint, it gives you a longer acceleration path. It's more advantageous to throwing far. The downside has always been inconsistency. Ah! It has to be a controlled movement in order to actually translate that into a decent throw. Key to throwing far is having a strong core. The shot put creates very high forces that have to transfer from the legs developing them to the upper body, managing to transfer that into the ball. That's all creating a big stretch reflex across the middle. The stretch reflex is what most elite athletes utilize to create tremendous amount of force. There is a sort of lag of the upper body compared to the lower body. It's like a, a rubber band creating this sort of tension in the core, which requires a tremendous amount of core strength. Think of a rubber band, when you pull it, uh, it stretches and then it snaps back. The same thing happens in our muscles, lengthening under constant tension and then releasing that force in order to create these great feats of athleticism. Having strong obliques, abdominals, lumbar paraspinals, quadratus lumborum is essentially important in a sport like this. I place my right foot right as close to the middle of the ring as I can, and my left foot is right up against the toe board at the front of the ring. Once I'm in that spot, it's called double support. Ultimately, when you plant in that power phase, you transfer all of that energy into the ball as it comes across your neck. If I'm seeing the ball leave my hand, that means all the energy in my body went into the ball. I don't have any rotational energy left. That's the perfect transfer of energy. If that happens, you feel it flip right off the fingertips, and hopefully you see that ball flying a long ways.
I think what it takes to be the greatest is number one, I think you need to have a passion uh, that is unmatched. You need natural talent, a work ethic that is borderline insane. There are very few people who can coach themselves. There are very few people who have that discipline. I think that's what makes him remarkable. A two-time Olympic gold medalist, current world champion, current world record holder, and he still has a tremendous commitment to say, what can I do better? Despite the ballerina analogies, there is a definite strength aspect to shot putting. Ryan has this rule for his baseline strength requirements. I think it's a rule of three, four, five, six. 300 pound snatch, 400 pound clean, 500 pound bench, 600 pound squat. And honestly, most guys are well above those numbers. Shot put uses pretty much the entire body, all the way from the feet to the tips of the fingers. Ryan works out from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. in a shed by himself with maybe occasionally another training partner. In the middle of the winter, the whole goal is increasing my work capacity and I'm trying to gain weight. The shot is 16 pounds. So the heavier I can be, that just gives me more mass to move that shot put and create more energy. All right, let's go. I'm doing what we call Bulgarian Hatfield squat and quite miserable. All right, come on. Strong leg, come on. It's just sets of five until failure. We call it cluster death because it's 30 second cluster sets until you can't stand anymore. Right. Come on, come on. But ideally coming back maybe half a pound heavier. Yep. It's 2024, it is the Olympic year now, so for me, the goal is to be the first person to ever win three consecutive golds in the shot put. It has not been done. I also have the goal of pushing out my Olympic record to a distance that, that hopefully will stand for a long time. The thing that has always attracted me to shot put is that the tape measure doesn't lie. I've always been chasing that. What can I push my body to do and how far can I make that ball fly?